How's it going, Salamaster family? This is Jesus or Jesus in Espanol. Uh, you can look me up at Jesus is Cooking on YouTube. We're going to go ahead and sear some steaks, depending on what kind of steaks you'd like. Uh, we're going to do some fast, easy, cheap chuck eye steaks, okay? Uh, me personally, I like New York steaks, but uh, like I said, for all of you that are on a fixed income, easy how to do it off salad master the first thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and preheat your skillet you want to use the right skillet for the right job obviously um, in order to find out if it's preheated or not what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring my skillet right here right i preheated it and one way to find out is you get a little bit of water right and you dump it down and it'll start to beat up as you can see this is letting me know that the skillet is preheated, ready to sear some steaks. I have right here, Woo! voila, some nice juicy steaks. Uh, what I'm going to do is, depending on how you want them, uh, medium well, well done, or rare, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, depending on the minutes, that's how you leave them. I'm gonna do them at a well, or medium well. So I'll go ahead and do it for five minutes on one side, uh, about five minutes on the other side. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and let them rest for five minutes and it soaks up all the natural juices. Uh, it tastes so good uh, when you put it into your mouth. It just melts and just natural juices explodes all over in your mouth and you swallow up. With, uh, you go ahead and swallow it down with pride, okay? I'm telling you right now, Salad Masters is the best uh, cookware in the world, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and it's already preheated, right? So what we're going to do is we are going to grab our steaks. And go ahead and push all the way down. No oil at all. 316 titanium surgical steel allows us to fry with no oil. Obviously, if you're a customer owner, you know, and if you're not, just go ahead and Google uh, Salad Master and it'll let you know who is your closest representative so that way he can come over and cook you and show you a little bit about health and nutrition, right? So, what you want to do is not put them too close together, too. This reason being because of the fact is if they get too uh, crunched up together, it's not allowing it to fry and it'll start to like more uh, absorb in their own juices. The further apart, the better. Right. right here, bam, got that going, and then last but not least, that's awesome. We'll just do three right now, right? So, I'm we'll gonna go to wash my hands real quick, and so I just washed my hands. I'm gonna go ahead and season these bad boys, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, All that means right on. It's my little cue that I have for when I'm cooking. You always want to use some tongs. You never want to poke your steak. What happens is when you poke your steak, it actually starts to bleed. It bleeds out and all the flavor is in our blood. Yes. Anyway, so never want to poke it. Always want to use tongs. Uh, it'll release itself once it's ready. So since we are searing, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid a little bit halfway like that. And if I was baking them, then I would close the lid 100%. Little bell will start to click when it's done. We are searing, so I'll just go ahead and leave that on. Uh, once I'm ready to flip, I'll come back on, and so that way I can turn my vent fan on, and then you'll see how nice and sear golden brown it is on the outside, so. All right, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is flip these bad boys. Bam. Bada bang, bada bang, right? Then I'm going to season this one more time on the other side. Add a little bit of salt, add a little pepper. back on so 
A lot of times my nephews or other people like to use barbecue sauce. Let me tell you, nothing gives me more mad than when someone puts barbecue sauce on a nice, fat, juicy New York steak. So these are not New York, which is fine. Go ahead. Dial it in. Fire it all on. Because obviously it's inexpensive, but a nice juicy steak should just be well cooked or medium well cooked, right? Or if you like it moving from the plate, you know, medium. Uh, but afterwards, it should just be salt and pepper. That's it. Then you can taste the natural juices of the steak, right? You don't have to mask it with any kind of A1 sauce or 57 Heinz or barbecue sauce. A real true genuine steak should be just five minutes on one side, five minutes on the other side, a little bit of salt and pepper, right? And then just nice and good and it should have the full flavor instead of masking it. So just want to let you guys know for all you barbecue lovers, you guys want barbecue? Go eat chicken, man. Don't do it with the steak. Anyways, sounds good. Boom. And ready to serve. Nice. Juicy sticks. Now, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and let them rest. Obviously, you'll see the like the blood dripping, which is a good thing. It'll soak it right on up, and then uh, let it rest for about anywhere from three to five minutes. Once that's done, uh, you get your little steak knife, and then you go ahead and dip it in your barbecue sauce for all your barbecue lovers. As if it's a New York steak, remember that. Uh, but I just hopefully you guys learned something today. Uh, you can go ahead and look me up at Jesus is Cooking on YouTube. or And you can email me at Jesus is Cooking with Salad Master at gmail.com. Thank you, you guys, for joining my YouTube channel. And once again, happy cooking.